Expressing dislikes. Using dislike and hate to express aversions. Hello and welcome to our English language learning video. In today's lesson, we will be focusing on expressing dislikes in conversational English. Specifically, we will learn how to use the words dislike and hate to express our aversions. Understanding how to express dislikes is crucial for effective communication, so let's dive right in. When we want to express a mild dislike or a preference against something, we can use the word dislike. It is a less strong term compared to hate. Let's look at some examples. 1. I dislike spicy food. 2. She dislikes watching horror movies. 3. They dislike waking up early in the morning. In these examples, dislike is used to express a general preference against something without an intense feeling of aversion. Remember, dislike is a milder term than hate and is commonly used in everyday conversations. When we have a strong aversion or intense dislike towards something, we can use the word hate. Let's take a look at some examples. 1. I hate doing household chores. 2. He hates getting stuck in traffic. 3. We hate waiting in long lines. In these examples, hate is used to express a strong negative feeling or intense dislike towards a particular activity or situation. It conveys a higher level of aversion compared to dislike. However, it is important to use hate appropriately and consider the context and tone of the conversation. Besides using dislike and hate, there are other phrases and expressions you can use to express dislikes. Let's explore a few of them. 1. I'm not a fan of 2. I can't stand three. I really don't like four. I have a strong dislike for. These phrases can be used interchangeably with dislike or hate to express your aversions in different situations. For example, I'm not a fan of horror movies. I can't stand crowded places. I really don't like public speaking. I have a strong dislike for rude people. Using these expressions will help you vary your vocabulary and express your dislikes in a more nuanced way. That concludes our lesson on expressing dislikes using dislike and hate. By understanding the differences between these two words and learning additional expressions of dislikes, you will be able to communicate your aversions effectively in English. Practice using these words and phrases in your conversations to become more fluent in expressing your preferences. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful to you. See you in the next lesson.